Speaker, once again, Honorable Ado Dogwa is my name, uh, representing Dogwa, Chudungwada Federal Constituency, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, I'm from Kano State. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise to really support this motion. And in doing that, Mr. Speaker, I want to share with my colleagues that having come from a rural and agrarian constituency of Kano State, Dogwa Tudungwada Federal Constituency obviously is the food basket of this great state of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, and indeed myself, being a farmer, professional farmer, which of course is the only profession, is the only profession each and every one of us here on the floor of the house is entitled by the Constitution to practice. Mr. Speaker, on this note, I want to say that this motion has not only come at the right time, but it has come at a very critical period when we must have to put our voices together to speak for the common man, the Nigerian farmer. The situation of Nigerian farmer, Mr. Speaker, is quite precarious. It is sad and is unfortunate as far as this agricultural season is concerned. The mover of the motion made references to the price rate of, of maize, for instance, per bag. He also made reference to the price of fertilizer, 50 kb, kg fertilizer, NPK, urea, and, and, so, and all sorts of that. I want to say by way of point of correction, Mr. Speaker, that a bag of fertilizer now costs twice a bag of, of maize. Urea is costing 8,500 naira per bag today. I bought it the same rate yesterday in my local market. Mr. Speaker, what a bag of rice is now selling at our local market is less than 6,500 6, naira per bag. The highest price you could get maybe when you are able to transport your, your grains or products to Kano, for instance, to the to Kano Metropolitan, the, 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 the international grains market, Dawano, that is where you can at best sell at 7,000 naira per bag, still below the price of the cost of a fertilizer. Your Excellency, I think this is the right time that this House should speak for Nigerian farmers. This House must also look inward to also articulate the position of this government because every one of us knows that this is one government that has taken advantage of the common man to even emerge. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, like you all know, is the president of the Nigerian people. And I want to believe the majority of the Nigerian people who have had confidence in Mr. President and voted for him the second time, 80% of such people are farmers. Here now comes a case in our hand where Mr. President must also rise to pay back in the same coin to the local people, to our uh, uh, subsistent farmers, some of them operating at some level of commercial level of farming. Mr. President has to also take this as a point of duty, using this government that must be sensitive to the plight of a common man to adopt this motion in its entirety, mop up grains from our markets, from the source of our local farmers, so that in the end, the kind of money they used to use, which is more or less like a revolving fund, can now be have a place in our economic system. The money they use in most cases is revolving, Mr. Speaker, because it is revolving because they keep their grains until the rain falls and they use what they have at hand to now regenerate and reinvest into the agricultural sector. And by the way we are going now, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, is that if this trend continues, it, will, it means that the revolving arrangement, the revolving formula will now be going in the negative to the extent that some time will come when our farmers, local farmers, will have no cobble. The, revolving, neg the negative trend of the revolving fund will now go to zero. So that at the end, our farmers in our various localities will have no capital whatsoever to invest. Mr. Speaker, I think this is a very serious motion that we must have to take very seriously. I believe my colleagues will have a lot of contributions to make by way of amendment so that in the end, this motion will now come up with a very solid and formidable pronouncement from this parliament so that government will take it very seriously. And moving forward, Mr. Speaker, you know the nature of motions and resolutions we take here. Sometimes you find several motions, several resolutions. For whatever reasons, some of these resolutions and motions stopped at the mess here. 
I think the leadership of this House of Representatives, especially our principals, the presiding officers, must take this, mo this, this issue beyond passing of this resolution. Pass this resolution, fine. Transmit our resolution, fine. But you, the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker of this House of Representatives, whom I believe are equally farmers, must take this case very seriously so that at the end you could be able to salvage the plight of Nigerian, Nigerian farmers so that our economy could now be a, 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 a very positive economy, an economy that will reju rejuvenate our economic strengths, which in the end will also improve even in our, in our foreign reserve. Our ability to build the nation is also paramount. Our ability to sustain employment in agriculture, which has provided major opportunity for employment, will also be rejuvenated. Mr. Speaker, is something that we cannot take lightly. I urge my, my colleagues, especially the opposition, even though some of them engage in foreign exchange, I want to urge them to please add their voice to this very important, <laughs> very important motion so that Nigerian farmers will really be identified with by this house of the Nigerian people. Mr. Speaker, I thank you for this time, and my honorable colleagues, I also thank you for listening. Thank you, and I rest my case.